here's some top tips of the shark the shark uh, powered left away that you might have never knew before and it might be very useful for you so first people should know about this but this hook can turn down and up most hoovers can do that actually but some people actually don't know that which actually surprises me the second tip if you notice how the pipe is just wiggling that that's because it used to be seated in this position so what you do is you just push it until you hear a click and there you go it looks a bit more neater but if you use your hoover a lot more it's a lot more stretched out the pipe so that's why to clean your filters all you need to do is press the dust cap release button not this button this one a lot of people make that mistake and then that should lift away and then you can clean your disgusting filters put it back on and then you should be done look at how much dust that comes out of that so if people already know how to clean the bottom of it but people don't know about the secret button that has on it so right here here's the button that you use to open and get rid of the dirt that's in your hoover see but people don't know about this side if you press this button and this secret button right here you can open up this side and you can clean around the area that's wrapped around the air, air filters and that should help you clean and hoover more efficiently and then you could just push it back in easily so people actually didn't know about that as you saw we knew that there was another filter there but there's another way to get the other filter out so what you do is you take this off by pressing the dust cap button right here and there's a area underneath which says access H E P A filter and this doesn't get cleaned this gets replaced if you notice your hoover is not acting right even after cleaning those filters so what you do is you push down then you should have access to the filter underneath now what you do here is basically you need to lie the hoover on its back like so and there you see the filter underneath how do you get that out well all we need to do is pull on that thing and then pull out like so and that's how to get your foot like so and this filter does not get washed it usually gets replaced but you can clean all the dust that's gathered around here and that's where the motor fan is so right there and there's screws right there if there's a problem with the motor if you didn't know that and all you need to do is just these two little bumps you need to go into those two little holes and then push until you hear the click and then to put the drawer back on all you need to do is just slide until you hear a click that's pretty very easy to be honest if you're noticing there's something stuck with your pipe all you need to do is take the handle off by pushing this lever and pulling it off that's nice but it's hard to clean down there is it well, there's another way you can take this whole hose off by pressing the hose release. So take that out right there. And basically this turns off the power of your hoover. So you can't hoover without the hose in. That's why there's a little thing right there. And there you can clean your hose. Simple, right? What we have here is a thing called the wand. Now, if you need the wand, all you need to do is press the wand release button. Press that down. And you can take the wand out and from here if you have your hose all you need to do is just attach the handle like this onto the wand and then you can move it efficiently like this and then when you're done all you need to slot the wand back into place like so so you hear a click if you didn't hear a click put it back in properly and then you'll be finished with using the wand. This is how to use the power lift away option. So what you do is you press this button right here and then when it's loose, pull the whole thing up and then pull away. That way you can use it while hoovering like this. You can just carry it and keep on hoovering. Or you can do this where you don't need the big roller, take the <coughs> handle off and you can hoover like this. Or what's even better, Take the wand off and then you could hoover like this 
So the shark hoover is actually pretty cool. So yeah, easiest way to put it in is to slot it in those two little bumps there. You push that in and then it should slot in. And then the button should feel more heavier than loose. And that's all the top tips of your shark monster hoover. See you guys next time and clean up your cable.